What kind of question is that? Did I just hear you say which of them? Of course, because <laughs> apparently there are two men in your life. Yeah. <laughs> who and who, if I may ask? Paul and Oforma, of course. Could you just stop this already? I have nothing going on with Paul. <sighs> okay, so then you're speaking about Oforma, right? Yes. <laughs> Finally. Ha <laughs> ha! Finally, finally. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> she got to see what Uzoma and I have been trying to tell her all along, but she wouldn't listen. It was about time you see the cunning person he is. Can you just stop this and get please? Mm. Yeah. I'm just happy you finally realized. But wait a minute. What is it with me? What do they really want? They want to always in satin. Why? Well, I disagree with you because I honestly believe we still have some faithful men out there. They are just hard to come by. Anyway, how did you actually find out he was cheating? You got him. That is a story for another day. Very well then, if you say so. I have business to attend to, and I'm so glad. <laughs> what a great day it is for you to realize what a monster you've been dealing with. <laughs> I'm just happy you got to find out. Come on here, darling. Mm. I love you too. Mm. Ah! Thank you, Lord. She found out. She found out. <laughs> just lock up the door. Need feelings from the inside. And to stand with you till the end of time And the promise to never to break your heart Oh okay, yeah, so this Aside from this I still have a bungalow down there Which is also for sale That is in case you are interested Um, I think we'll have to start with this first Okay, oh, my okay. boss will like this one Oh, mm. it's alright, no problem then It's okay In that case, you have to come by the office tomorrow if he turns out to like it, we do all the necessary transactions and then the property is yours. Sure, I'll be out to visit tomorrow. Okay? Oh. Excuse me, sorry. Uh, hello, dear. Please go right now. Why? Oh, the beans, oh, the beans. Dear, it, it hasn't gotten to that, right? Just shut up and call me, beans. Ah, ah. Okay, sweetheart, just calm down. I'm, I'm on my way. Tomorrow in the office, I'll see you. Okay, I'll tomorrow. see you by tomorrow, yeah, okay? Yeah, tomorrow, tomorrow. I'm 
begging you, you said let me to try again. Please, if you let me, then I will write a mountain. Baby, I'm a change man now. All I need is a second chance. in the past It's a modest place. Come on now. Don't, 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 come on. Don't do that. No, come on now. Don't it's try. It's a modest. It's don't a, try oh, to no. be all nice with me. This is nice. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. Sarah, can please you? Uh, make yourself comfortable. All right. Thank you. Yeah, she got you a drink. What uh, are you up for? Water, spirits, soft. What, what do you no, want? No, no, it's fine. I can't do drinks anymore. I mean, we're just coming from the bar. Oh, that's drink for the bar now. This is my house now. Let's spirits. Um, okay. I know the spirits. No, 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 no. I would, um, I think I'll have something to eat instead. I'm hungry. <laughs> you don't look hungry. I am hungry. I'm serious. Are you serious? Are you sure you have anything in the house? I don't at the moment, but I can, I can whip something up, I tell you. I'm a master chef. You cook? Ask questions, baby. You're sure you're hungry? <laughs> Very hungry. I got you covered. Wait for it. Mm. <laughs> okay. This one is definitely a different breed. You like the food, eh? Did you say you like? <laughs> mm, amazing. <laughs> so nice. So tell me, how did you learn to cook? My dad taught me how to cook. <laughs> Wait a minute, you mean your dad cooks? Yeah, he was a great cook. He was? Yeah, unfortunately he died um, a couple of years ago. 
So, this is my story. My mother died pretty early, and so my father was saddled with the responsibility of taking care of all of us. You see? So we, as the kids around the house, had no choice but to help daddy out once in a while in the kitchen. You know, so I picked a few things up, you know. <laughs> I'm, I'm truly sorry. It's fine. Come on now. Hey, it's a day to be happy and not a day of sadness. <laughs> uh, it's okay. <clears throat> but the food is really, really nice. I'm glad you love it. I told you I was going to make you something really nice. And you did. Yeah, I did. <laughs> uh, okay. So, we toast. Yeah. To... To what would be the beginning of a great friendship. To good health. Mm -hmm. More life. More money. <laughs> money, eh? <laughs> I love money. <laughs> that was a joke. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a good thing, yeah. Yes, more, of course. More money. Is. More money. And to a great life experience with you. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Damn, you're beautiful. I had to just sneak that right in. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> ah, good choice. I like it. I do, too. Mm. Come on. You sure you don't want to eat for me? No, I'm, I'm okay, I'm okay. I made the, the meal, so you know, all of that sort of got into me. I know, it happens you know to me it too. When you cook. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Come on, I get up. Uh, you need to have your bath and, you know, we are ready. Mm -mm. There is no need for that, because even if I shower, there is nothing to change into. Oh, yeah. Mm. Oh, so what are you going to do? I'm just going to shower when I get home and change into something else. Oh, yeah. Will you just wake up? <laughs> See your mouth. Wake up. <laughs> All right, I'll just get ready for work and then drop you, drop you off on my way to work. Okay. I'll catch some sleep while you do that. Get up. <laughs> Come on, get up. Get up and get ready. was a perfect gentle man by all standards not knowing he was worse than I thought oh god I'm so confused what do I do do I give him a second chance never I wouldn't but a former is messing around and looking at him, he is not even ready to embrace the future. What do I do? I'm a jack in the past and I know it. Forgive me for I'm back on my knees and I'm begging. Please don't turn your face away from me. Please allow me to amend all my mistakes. I, I know 
know I treat you bad I know I made you cry I know I said a lot of things I shouldn't have said Now I am down on my knees Begging you to give me a second chance All I'm begging you is to let me to try again So Kinsley is now a proud father. While I am yet to even get a serious girl. Not to talk of getting married and producing children. I am still jumping from one girl to another. What is wrong with me? Why is it that I cannot even stay with any girl? Without finding one fault or the other, what is wrong with me? Happy, what is it? She found out about us. How? But you promised me she's never going to find out about us. Yes. But the same she followed me the day she gave me that money. Hey. Oh, my, you fuck up now. Nah. Now you fuck up. Why would you say anything like that? Because you told me she is never going to find out about us. Yes, I did. But I never knew she was going to find out. You're not going to exonerate yourself from this. Well, I accept. It's my fault. So, what next? You have to go back and beg her. What do you say? You yes! Because that lady is the source of our livelihood. We cannot afford to lose her. Yes. Amara, I can easily get another woman. Yes. No. A bed at hand is better than millions of beds in the bush. You have to go back and beg her. I should go back and beg her. What kind of girl is this? Eh? Never really to accept no as an answer. Amara. Are you sure you don't want me to offer you anything? Lady Claria, I said I'm okay. I have red wine. Yeah. I have juice. <sighs> I have spirits. Just make your choice. Now you're beginning to sound like I'm a stranger in this house. <laughs> you know if there is anything I want, I would not hesitate to walk into that kitchen and take it. Uh-uh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, have you spoken to Paul? Mm. 
Not yet. You're dragging this thing too far. Honestly. I know it's hard to believe, but Paul is a changed man. And this time around, he's not even coming for a relationship. He wants to make you his wife. Lady Clarion, I don't know what it is, but... I don't know, I'm really finding it difficult to go back to him. I get you, but... Give it a try. You won't regret it, trust me. <sighs> okay. <laughs> I will think about it. <sighs> This is the best thing I've heard today, uh -huh. honestly. <laughs> <laughs> no, what is good about what I just said? Now? Everything. And it calls for celebration. Yeah, Auntie. Mm -hmm. What are we celebrating? We are celebrating navigating towards a very successful and lovely reunion. <laughs> <laughs> and you see that drink? You will drink it today. <laughs> Instead. <laughs> If, if, if you don't drink it, okay. I will you. But please, I don't do cheap wine, so whatever it is. I'm back on my knees and I'm begging. Please don't turn your face away from me. Please allow me to amend all my mistakes. Instagram page and that was like wow really <laughs> honestly yeah congratulations <laughs> thank you uh, hmm finally my friend is now a mother we trust in hmm. god though we can't thank god enough honestly ah. hmm. my dear i just wish god would do for me exactly as he has done for he you he will surely do it for you just be prayerful he will ah, i just hope so ah. amen oh amen where is the baby now <laughs> He's inside, he's asleep. Can I see him? Why not? Can Let's go at once. <laughs> Look at uh, you. I'm so happy. Look at you. You're so good. Oh, thank you. 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 Said a lot of things I shouldn't have said. Now I am down on my knees, begging you to give. What are you doing here? Good afternoon. I said, What are you doing here? I just greeted you. It's not by force to respond to your greeting. Okay. I asked again, What are you doing in this house? Okay. I am here to see Jenny. She is. Why do you want to see her? It's none of your business. I see. It's none of my business. I have never seen an irresponsible man like you. After cheating on my friend, you came here looking for her. Are you that shameless? Uh, listen. Whatever that has happened between Jinny and I is none of your business. So stay out of it. Are you not stupid? You want me to stay out of whatever that has happened between my friend and you? Yes. Yet you stand before me asking me her whereabouts. Yes. I am asking you her whereabouts because you live here with her. I can see you are mannerless. Now. He's there talking rubbish. Nonsense. Shameless fool. Come here again, let me see. Nonsense. Come here again. Before I'm back on my knees and I'm begging, please don't turn your face away from me. Please allow me to amend all my mistakes. Okay. 
Okay. Like I said, I need to rush back to the office, okay? I need to attend to something. Mm -hmm. but, I'll, but I'll see you guys in an hour's time, okay? Okay. Mommy, hold on. What is it? Mommy, when is Uncle Paul getting married? Yes, <laughs> that's true. You asked him that question the other day. What did he say to you? Mm, he didn't go straight to the question I asked him. <laughs> Listen, I am not Uncle Paul. So I can't tell you when he's getting married. Hmm? Okay, Mom. But why are you so inquisitive? I mean, why is it so important for you to know when he's getting married? Because I can't wait to attend this wedding. Me too. <laughs> if that is the only problem, then you don't have anything to worry about because Uncle Paul will be getting married very soon. And you people will attend the wedding with me. How soon, okay. Mom? Ah, please don't ask me. It's enough. Mm. Enough of the question. Yes, yes, um, yes, yes. I'll see Bye. you. Mommy, one more mouth. thing. What's that? Food. There's food in the fridge. Okay, mommy. Yes. <laughs> food too. You. Food too. You that like food more than me. <laughs> me for back on my knees and I'm begging. Please don't turn your face away from me. Please allow me to. Che. Hmm. That guy was here. Who? Nene, how many guys do you have? None. Exactly why I asked who. A farmer was here. What? Wait a minute. You mean a farmer had the courts to come to my house? He should count himself lucky that I did not get to meet him. I would have given him the worst embarrassment of his life. What nonsense! Wow! Wow! I am so glad you finally decided to put him where he belongs. I never thought this day would come. Really? <laughs> anyway, hmm. he said he came to see. Anyway, that's by the way. You're quite early from work today. What happened? We went for field work. Oh. And then I went to see Lady Calarion afterwards. Oh well. Oh. Okay. Mm, where are you off to? I have a supply to make. Yes. Chief is calling. But I thought you said you no longer work with him. Yes. That is why I am surprised to see him calling me right now. Sure. Hello, Chief. Okay, sir. Outside our gate, I'll be right there, sir. Okay, sir. Babes, let me quickly see him. I'll be right back. Chief. Good afternoon, beautiful Uso man. How are you today? I'm fine, thank you. Just that I feel you have forgotten me. Says the one who called me and demanded to see me, and I responded almost immediately. How can I possibly forget an elegant woman like you? <laughs> no, how is that possible? <laughs> it's fine, Chief. Um, Chief, I actually called you because uh, I needed to meet someone. Who? My friend. Her name is Chinaye. She's exactly the kind of woman you would like. <laughs> I like the way you say this. There must be something about this, your friend, that is compelling you to present her to me. What is it? Chief, she's going through a lot right now. And I know a relationship with a man like you 
Okay, long way. Wow. So, where is this your friend? She's around. But now that you are interested in meeting her, allow me to finish the job and call you. <laughs> <laughs> I think I like this. <laughs> I know you will like this. <laughs> you see, uh, if I'm going to do this, I'm doing it because of you. Because of old times. Uh, but I, I, I am not going to say anything until I've set my eyes on this friend of yours. Chief, you will like her. Really? You will like her. Are you going to make it possible? <laughs> you will like her. <laughs> it's fine. Who is Chief? A friend of hers. An old friend, actually. What kind of friend? <laughs> Come on, Enye. He knows Oma is in the better position to answer that question. Enke, there is a lot you are hiding from me. <laughs> there is nothing I am hiding. No. I mean, I can see it from your body language. You are hiding a lot from me. Why will you use it seeing a married man? Enke, ah, why are you concluding? You're jumping into conclusions and that's not correct. of which she's calling <laughs> you don't need my permission to take her calls do you well, then. yeah I should come to the gate okay I'm coming What is going on? I'll be right back. What is going on? I'll be right back. I'm back on my knees and I'm begging. Please don't turn your face away from me. Please allow me to. Hey. Where is Chief? He's gone. What do you mean, gone? Babe, he's gone. Uh, so what then did he come for? <laughs> Babe, you won't believe it. Tell me. Chief said he likes Chimene. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> he did? He did. Uh, but why would he make such a demand? I don't know. I even tried discouraging him by letting him know that Chinye is into a serious relationship. Right. But he wouldn't listen. Yes. Instead, he said that I must be the one to convince Chinye into accepting him. I don't know how to do it. <laughs> I don't know. He's really serious. I don't know. <laughs> you and I know Chinye will never agree to this. Babe, I know. So what would you do? That's why I called you. What do you mean that's why you called me? What can I possibly do? It's not like the decision is up to me. Well, you know what I think? Okay. I think you should tell her. <laughs> yeah. No, no. That will, that, that, that will paint me black. <sighs> you and I know how she hates having affairs with married men. You know that already. I so do. So how do I now come up with this? You, you see, I know. But then again, don't you think you'll complicate things if you don't let her know what's on ground? She deserves to know. At least she can make the choice from there. Yes, you're right. Exactly. You're right. I probably will have the nerves to tell her. <laughs> you'll have to work around it somehow. Mm. You can. Try. I just pray I will have the nerves to say that to her. Try. Okay, I know what to do. You do? Yes. Okay. I will just tell her without letting her know that she is married. Oh. Simple. That, that is the only thing I can do. I'm not in support though. Babe. Just in case she ever finds out. You said I should tell her. Mm, NK was not aware. I wasn't aware he's You're married. married. <laughs> You're the one who encouraged No, 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 no. <laughs> 
Uzoma, I can't believe you're saying this. What have I done? <laughs> huh? Our friend here needs to reinvent herself. Making that possible is what I am doing. Where have I gone wrong? Come on, Uzoma. I still cannot believe you of all people are saying this. You're pimping our friend to a man and we both know that is not a decent thing to do. Okay, girls, you all are talking about me. I am here. And that decision is left for me to make. Calm down. Really, Nene? Mm-hmm. Simple. Nene? Mm -hmm. So you're just going to allow her pimp you off to a man like you're some wrongs girl? No, darling. See, if I meet this young man and I like him, I will date him. And I bet you, darling, you will like him when you see him. <laughs> 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 now I'm convinced you can actually live in the same house with people without truly knowing who they are. NK, you know who we are. Apparently I don't. Stop this. I'm only trying to move on. I mean, you never hear. Depression is real. This is my only little way of trying to fight it. So rest in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, my dear. Go, go heaven. So one day, I'm on down. Rise, Jesus. I'm on down. Back on my knees and I'm begging. Please don't turn your face away from me. Please allow me to amend all my mistakes. Hey. Look, I have never been this embarrassed in my life before. You shouldn't bother yourself with what her friend has said to you. I don't understand. What do you mean? Osama, you have no business with her friend. You need to go back and beg Chinea. You didn't just say that. I did. I'm not going back there. Osama, you will. Need I remind you that Chinea is our office. And we don't need to shut it down. What kind of person are you? That question should not arise at the moment. Of course it should. And I need you to answer me right now. Well, if you want to know the kind of person I am, that is a discussion for another day. But the bottom line right here now is that you're going back there to beg Chinea. Okay. Um, what of she, if she insists of not having anything to do with me again. Oh, former there is no if at this point. You have to do everything within your power to get back her love and trust for you. I don't like the way you sound. Of course you wouldn't like the way I'm sounding right now. But with time, you will understand why I am doing this for us. Amana, you are doing absolutely nothing for us. There are other rich ladies out there. It must not be a, a, a chin here. You amaze me, your former. Look at the way you're sounding as if all the rich ladies in this town are at your beck and call. Amana, I know the exact button to touch at every given time to get a rich lady of my choice. That makes it simple, my love. Yes, use that same button to get Chine in your back. Ah. Hi, Chief. Good evening, Chief. <laughs> Good evening, beautiful ladies. How are you today? Fine, thank you, Chief. I hope we didn't keep you waiting. No, no, no. As you can see, I'm actually enjoying myself. Please, sit down. Thank you. <laughs> um, Chief, this is my friend, Chine. <laughs> Good afternoon, sir. <laughs> Good afternoon, my dear. Beautiful angel. Uh, but I would actually prefer you refer to me as uh, chief. 
Oh. <laughs> oh okay, so I'm sorry, I mean chief. <laughs> I can understand. But eventually you will get used to it. I am not very comfortable with that title of sir. It is not our thing. I just want to be called chief. You understand? <laughs> okay, chief. Uzoma, I am happy. Very, very glad. Thank you, you have done noble. And uh, before you get home today, trust me, uh, you will receive a message from me. Mm -hmm. Something really nice. Oh, thank you. <laughs> okay, um, chief, I don't know. I would like to ask for a favor. Go ahead, what favor? Please, take good care of my friend. Ugh. You don't need to say that. Hey, look at her, she's very beautiful. And she is my speck. So I will take absolute care of her. Okay. <laughs> so I will take my leave now. No problem. Like I said, before you get home, you will receive a message from me. Message of appreciation. Okay. She. Mm? Be good. Of course I will. Okay. <laughs> All right, Chief. Bye bye. bye. <laughs> <laughs> Can I have a feel of your hand now? Oh, of course. You're gonna be Yes, Chief. I like you. <laughs> like I told your friend, you are my speck. <laughs> and you know, we are getting into a relationship. And I want us to understand ourselves from this very beginning. You're going to promise me here and now that you will be everything for me. And if you become everything for me, trust me, I will be everything for you. Okay, okay, Chief. You have your way with words. I like that smile. <laughs> Like you are so good with words, too. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm back on my knees and I'm begging. Please don't turn your face away from me. Please allow me to amend on my... Oh. Honestly, I still can't process the fact Chinenye is doing this. But you heard her reasons for doing what she's doing. Even at that, as far as I'm concerned, there's still not enough reason for her to be with a man old enough to be her father, for goodness sake. My darling, is her choice. And we have to respect that. Uzoma, I cannot afford to respect this particular choice of hers. There is everything wrong with it. What if Paul should find out? What? Is that how you say Paul? Of course. Say, please, don't even go there. Don't even mention Paul's name into this. Because as far as I'm concerned, he is the reason why that girl is doing what she's doing today. Uzoma, please. We all are human, for goodness sake. Mm. We all have shortcomings. Yes, fine. We all have shortcomings. But Paul's own shortcomings is way too bad. Trust me, you cannot continue to blame everything Chinenye is doing wrong on Paul. You can't. Then who do you want me to blame? <sighs> so please, let's just talk about something else. I'm just too paranoid to talk about anything else. I can't. This is freaking me out. Okay, fine. No. Um, I understand you very well. I understand you are very concerned about our sister, our friend, Rada. But she's not a kid. And I know she is old enough to coordinate her affairs. So calm down. I just don't want to see her in another state of heartbreak. No, no, no. I really don't want to. Uh -uh. She wouldn't be that stupid to fall in love with a married man. <laughs> really? Mm -hmm. It's not as if you actually told her the man in question is married. He did not. Yes, I know I didn't tell her. But I know our friend cannot be that stupid hmm. to fall in love with that man. Yes. Uzoma. Uh -huh. Uzoma. Uh -huh. why, why, why are you even working yourself up on this genius matter? Wouldn't say she's my friend. She's our friend. But she is now choking you like you're too bad. I know I made you cry. I know I said a lot of things I shouldn't have said. Now I am down on my knees. 
begging you to give me a second chance for you. This is a second chance. All I'm begging you is to let me to try again. Dear customer, the MTN number you have dialed is currently switched off. Please try again later. Thank you. I know I'm a jack in the past and I know it. Forgive me for I'm back on my knees and I'm begging. Dear customer, the MTN number you have dialed is currently switched off. Please try again later. Thank you. Said a lot of things I shouldn't have said. Now I am down on my knees, begging you to give me a second chance. For you, this is a second chance. All I'm begging you is to let me to try again. Please, if you let me, then I will write on my own. For you, baby, I'm a changed man. Why on earth will her number be switched off? Each time a man I want to do something bad, she will switch off her phone. Today soon, I am waiting for you. I got that must come back. You will explain to me. I'm telling you. <gasps> wow. Babe, hey, you're back. What Good is Thank you, John. <sighs> Don't tell me you've been with that man since morning. <laughs> no. I didn't even spend up to 30 minutes there before heading to the office. Okay, I thought you'd say you on leave. Yes, I am, darling. But I needed to clarify some things for them. So tell me, how did it go with the man? Fine. The man is willing to pay. And I will make him pay. Mm. Babe, don't tell me this is all about money. <sighs> of course not. It's not all about money. Is it about payback, darling? It's payback time. Any man I meet this period would definitely pay back for what Paul and a former did to me. My darling, you were making a very big mistake if this is what you really want to do. There is no mistake in this. The man says he wants to pay. In fact, he has already started paying. Take a chill pill, girls. Wait, wait, wait. Let me get this. Nene? Mm -hmm. What does that even mean? I seen he paid you enough money to suspend your decency? Shut up. Keep quiet. Why do you like using words that you cannot define comprehensively? What are you even talking about? What word am I using I cannot define? Did you just hear me say payback? Why are you still using the word decency? Please, let him calm down. No, no, let me ask you. Hi. Now tell me, darling, what is so decent about what a foreman Paul did to me? Huh? Mm -mm. Forget about anchor. Come on, give me the chest. <laughs> so tell me. Did you find the man's company worthy? Who no like up? Who no like up? <laughs> Just see, John. <laughs> no, I treat you bad, I know I made you cry. I know I said a lot of things I shouldn't have said. Now I am down on my knees, begging you to give me a 
thing to do is at least respond to my greetings, not ask send me this question. There is nothing special about your greetings. Therefore, where are you coming from? Fine. I went to work. You said you went to work? Yes. And what kind of work is that? Before you met me, you know the kind of work that I do. So why act as if you don't know what I do for a living? Amara, but you promised me you were not going back to that kind of life again. Yes, but that was after you told me you were going to take care of my needs. I have been taking care of your needs. And I have not gone back to my usual way of life. But I decided to go back because you stopped taking care of my needs. A former will need money in this house. And I can't fold my arms and watch hunger deal with us. There is nothing else I can do, so I got to hustle. Ama, don't even justify your actions. You just cheated on me and I am expecting you to hide your face in shame. My love, I didn't cheat on you. Rather, I went for a business that would benefit both of us. Too bad, I know I made you cry. I know I said a lot of things I shouldn't have said. Now I am down on my knees, begging you to give me a second chance for you. The, the, the only girl I love. Oburu, Oburu, come get somebody that will benefit both of us. My... Hey. Is she not picking her calls? Am I sure she's okay? Uh, hello, Chief. I have been calling your number and you are not picking. I'm sorry, Chief. I um, I wasn't with my phone. You're not sounding okay. Is there a problem? Um, I'm I'm having malaria and typhoid. Since when? It started this morning. Have you taken any medication? Not yet, Chief. But I plan on going to the hospital. You know what? When you are through with the hospital, call me. Okay. But you were not on seat. Oh yeah, it must have been when I stepped out to see a friend. But I wasn't gone for too long. Though. I heard the MD is planning to transfer me to payroll department. Why? I don't know. I mean, no reasons at all. No, but you should be happy about it. Eh? That means less work, more pay. Of course I am happy. I mean, I can't wait for it to happen. I need more time on my hands to do other things. Yeah. And speaking of other things to do, I don't know how far you've gone with um, Chinenye. Um, I have not heard from Chinenye since the last time we spoke. 
I'll give her two days. After two days and she doesn't get back to me, then I'll call her. Thank you for being so thoughtful. Why do you keep saying thank you? I mean, what are friends for? Yeah, but you know, I'm just bothering you with all of this. And... <laughs> You. Um, one more thing, please. Can you please, you know, give me Chinenya's home address so that I can go see her and talk with her? But you know she will not be happy seeing you at her place. I know, but that's the only way we can speed up this entire process. It's, it's, it's dragging a bit, you know. Unfortunately, I agree with you. No problem. I'll give it to you. Okay? Mm. <laughs> what can I do without you? Uh, thank you. Thank you. All right. Uh, see you later. All right. I'll come to your office, please. Right. No, I treat you bad. No, I made you cry. No, I said a lot of things I shouldn't have said. Mr. Man. M my love. What are you doing here? My baby. Listen, if you ever, ever in your life repeat that thing you said again, or if you see your baby outside, you won't know her. Why are you angry now? Why am I angry? Ofoma, don't I have a reason to be angry? I'm asking you, don't I have a reason to be angry? Yes, you have every reason to be angry. And that is why I'm here, so that I can amend it. Oh. You want to make amend? Yes. Something you have broken already. It cannot be fixed. <laughs> My love, I was the one that broke it. Please allow me to fix it. And you think in this my life, as I find like this correct like this, I'll still give you another chance. Hmm. You this thing that looks like bombastic elements. Hey, oh, I will give you another chance. Jesus. You are mad. That is very harsh. My friend, get her from here. Please now. That, that is very harsh on me. Just give me a second chance. I promise you I will never try it again. Listen. I am done and dusted with you. Please. Get out of this place right now. Please, Obi, please. This is my village people working against me. Because just a former. Hmm? There is no second chance. I have told you. Get out of this place. Don't you ever come here to look for me again. Huh? Uh, please now, Obi. Hey, my love. Oh, my... oh, oh, begin a bear. Who, who is your heart? Are you mad? Smelling of, of cupboard, cupboard. You don't use anything. You're, you're just smelling of camphor, camphor. Rubbish. Obi, Bigo, I even purchased a new perfume, please. Nah, me ain't see sosorobia, sosorobia. I will perfume. Go and take a bath. Don't. Just take a chance. Obi. Oh. What was I even thinking? Eh? What was I even thinking the day she accused me of cheating on her? I would have just relaxed. I would have just taken my time and give this girl a solid life. A concrete life that will even convince her make her love me more and more. We shouldn't have been here talking this now. Where will I start from now? My love! Chi baby! Chi! Oh! All I'm begging you is to let me to try again. Oh. Hi, Mr. Paul. Hey, thank you. How are you? I'm well, thank you. It's been quite a while, you know. It's, yeah, I know, I know. Forgive me, my, my fault, but don't worry. Mm. I'll, I'll clean it up. Yeah, right. I'll clean it up. Yeah, right. <laughs> uh, how have you been? Oh, well, I've been good, you know, coping with work and just pushing it gradually. Yeah, I know how that can be. Um, please be honest with me. Mm hmm is she around? <sighs> Unfortunately, she's not. She Chin stepped out a while ago. Oh, Chinenye. I know, right? I'm not in luck this time, huh? <laughs> well, <laughs> we can't completely say you're not in luck because she could be here any moment from now. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So she doesn't sleep out? She never sleeps out. What are you talking about? <laughs> Sounds good to me. I know, right? <laughs> Sounds good to me. Okay, I'll just, um, I'll just wait. Mm -hmm. You get tired of talking to me, you want to go in, back inside, I'll just I sit could in never, my I could never, I could never. I'm right here. Ooh. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Cheerful you. So tell me, what's been going on with you? Mm, you don't want to know. 
I want to know. Hmm. <laughs> this country, sometimes I feel like it's drying out my blood. Things are getting harder by the day, my goodness. We can all relate now, can't we? But we hope to fix this nation with the next election. Oh, I can't wait. Because huh? apparently it doesn't seem to be enough the fact you're working hard. Yeah, the next election, the coming election will be different. Huh?